Hey guys, so it's actually Sunday right now. Let me turn the radio down so I don't get copyrights. Um, it's Sunday, January 2nd right now, and I'm starting my week in my life vlog one day early because I was out of town all week. Um, and we were up north at my boyfriend's parents' house. So that's like how we spent the holidays. But in that time, I got a lot of stuff for like gifts or I bought some things that could be used in my future classroom for student teaching, everything like that. And I wanted to show you some of the gifts I got for Christmas that I could also use um, for my classroom, for student teaching, everything like that. I also did a gift exchange with my friend Tabitha, who is Tabby Teaches here on YouTube. We bought each other things off of our collection wish lists. So that's really exciting. I was gonna talk about that. And yeah, so welcome to a week of my life, the first week of 2022. I'm very excited to film this week. All right, hello, so I'm home now. I thought I would show you some of the things. I got for Christmas that kind of relates to teaching and the classroom and student teaching and all that kind of stuff. Um, I got a Amazon gift card and a Target gift card. So I was able to buy some things for school related things. I have one more package coming later this week. So I'll show that when it comes. Um, and I also got some gifts from students and teachers at my job, so I'll show that too. Um, yeah, so from Tabitha, I got these, and I'm so excited. I got the Baby Bear counters. There's 102 of them, which is like such a random number, but they're so cute, and I'm so excited to use these. And then she also got me this like rainbow pillow, um, pillowcase for a throw pillow for my future classroom reading corner. Um, my uncle got me an Amazon gift card and I bought a wireless doorbell. I'm very excited to use this, hoping I can get to use it. For student teaching I got the yellow one so this is like the part that goes in the wall and then this is the part that goes with you um I'm going to figure out a way to like hang this on a lanyard I also bought Cricut things with my gift card because I did get a Cricut and I'm very excited about it if you saw my last vlog you saw me open my Cricut and I got this game it's like an elf like memory game that would be fun to play in the classroom um during the holiday season and then one of my teachers that i work with she got me some like uh essential oil things so she got me this like roller oil and it's supposed to be good for like stress and anxiety and then she got me a body butter as well and it smells so good so i'm very very excited about that and then today i went to target because i had a gift card and i did buy myself a sock calendar but i also bought some valentine's day stuff for my student teaching class so i got this book called the invisible string if you haven't read this it's really good and i totally recommend it it's only seven dollars at target right now so really good deal and then i saw these valentine's day cards and i like to get scented ones so these are the silly sweets scratch off valentine's and they have jokes on them which i love and then I got two packs of these little bubble wands, which are super cute. I'm probably going to do like little treat bags for Valentine's Day, but I thought I would get these to put in them. I think that's everything 
I got for Christmas that I wanted to show you. And then I also wanted to show you, I set up my planner for soon teaching. So I got this planner at um, Lakeshore Learning when I was in Tennessee. And it's a lesson planner, but I set it up for each month. So here's January. So in the front of this planner, it's pretty cool because you can like write down all the information that you need and like communications log, um, notes and to do, stuff like that. And then there's this whole space right here where you can like plan things out. And then there's the year at a glance. And then January is where I started writing things in. So I have like reminders and then student teaching orientations on the 13th. And then I'm taking the Ford again. Last day. And then my first day of student teaching, which is also a teacher in service day. And then I just have like no school on the days where there's like no school and where spring break is. My birthday's right here. And then once you get past all of these pages, there's like room to plan out everything week by week, which is really nice. So I am excited about that. And there's also stickers in the back here. Um, so yeah, that is what my planner for student teaching looks like. I'm very excited about it. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, January 3rd, 2022. And it's the first day back to work today um as a special ed aid so i'm gonna do an outfit of the day i have this really pretty like light blue sweater um i'm not sure where i got it i got it a few years ago but i want to say it's from kohl's and then i'm just wearing black leggings and these black boots from just fab i was gonna wear my new converse that my mom got me she got me these beautiful aqua converse but i don't want them to get wrecked at recess time and i just have this feeling that they would so i'm not gonna take those chances and get those wrecked <clears throat> like the first day i wear them so yeah and then i'm just wearing my little snowflake necklace and my ring like usual um yeah so that is what's going on today back to work um yeah i start soon teaching in 21 days and i'm very excited so i will see you guys after work i'm definitely working out today because i haven't been to the gym in literally like three weeks so i'm working out after work today and then i'm probably gonna go grocery shopping and yeah, so that is what is going on today. Hey guys, whew, finally done with the day. I'm at my mom's because I had to let the dog out because um, they're somewhere. But what a day. <laughs> today was crazy. The behaviors were just crazy, especially in my two students. Um but I do have funny stories. So they do soft starts in the morning, like when they first get to school. And the table that my kid is at, they were playing with potato heads. And I asked a kid, where does Mr. Potato Head work? And he's like, noodles. And Mrs. Potato Head works there too. That's how they met. And I was like, oh, really? And they're like, yeah, and they got married at Taco Bell. And they had a baby in the kitchen of noodles. So that is the origin story of how 
Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head met and where Baby Spud came from. So yeah, that was an interesting time. Um, but today, like, I'm just so tired and the day felt so long. I am ready to go home, work out, make dinner, and then probably go to bed because I am exhausted, but I need to work out today. I haven't been to the gym in like three weeks, so. All right, well, I will maybe see you later. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, an update. I did not go to the gym because I got home and I felt like so nauseous. Like there's, I'm out of my medicine that I take for my digestion and it's like killing me. I'm hoping that my doctor sees my message and refills it tomorrow. Um, but I have been reading Wild by Cheryl Strayed. And my boyfriend got me this book for Christmas. Um, if you're a Gilmore Girls fan, I watched Gilmore Girls this year. That was like the big series that I watched this year. And I recently finished it, I want to say in like October, I finished it. Um... But there's an episode where Lorelai goes on this trip inspired by Wild. And um, this is a book and it's about this woman. And literally, like, the author, it's her story. So it's an autobiography. And this lady, she's, like, trying to find herself because her life takes a really bad turn. And she goes and she walks 1100 miles on the pacific crest trail and it's her journey and i got about 50 pages in i'm i hybrid read a lot like it's my favorite kind of reading because you don't have to be like super invested into time so basically i read some of it physically and then i listen to the audiobook so i have the libby app and it connects to your library and then you just look at or you just listen to the book. And I like audiobooks because I can do things in the background while I listen to them and I'm still comprehending everything. Um, so yeah, I like to hybrid read. And also I like to hybrid read with this book because the writing is tiny and it kind of hurts my eyes to look at it for 50 pages. So yeah. Another book I'm reading, I don't know if you've, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my boyfriend likes to, likes me to read to him at night. So we like pick a book to read together and I read it to him. So we're reading this book called Restart. It's a um, middle grade novel. I like to read a lot of middle grade novels just to kind of get inspired and see like what kids read and what they like to read and what books I should consider having in my future classroom. So that is pretty much my update for the night. I'm about to go make some chicken noodle soup and I might be FaceTiming my teacher friend Jazz. So that's exciting. Okay, I lied once again. I have a couple more things I wanted to show you that I got for Christmas. Um, One of the teachers that I'm an aide for got me this super cute succulent yes it is real i'm trying to keep it alive my boyfriend's mom got me this super cute light up snowman that i would love to just have in my classroom and then this is my desk um i got this fake plant from my friend that's actually one that won't die my cricket i just did this whole pen organizer thing I love and I got airpods for Christmas so yeah good morning it is Tuesday January 4th today and this is the fit I have these red um like super comfy dress pants that I got at Ross um I just have a black tunic from Kohl's and then this Super cute scarf that I cannot remember where I got it from, but I feel like TJ Maxx is the answer. And then I just have these cute, like, clay apple earrings that I got at a local store in my town. 
Um, yeah, today I'm seeing Sing 2 with my cousins after work today. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. So I will maybe record that. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good day. I'll see you later. Hey guys, so I finished my day. It was another really crazy day. I just feel like the kids are still in winter break mode and they just don't wanna work and it's really stressful. And one of my kids didn't wanna do his work so bad today that he just fell asleep. I wish I was making that up, but like he legitimately just like fell asleep because he didn't want to do his work so that is the level of frustration that i am experiencing right now but anyway i'm at the movie theater i'm waiting for my cousins because we're gonna go see um sing too and i'm very excited so i will let you know how the movie is i'll give you like a movie review Hey guys, I'm going to bed soon, but I wanted to let you know that Sing 2 is super good, and if you haven't seen it yet, you should go see it, because it's super cute, and I really like the story. Hey guys, I'm on my way out the door to go to work, but it is Wednesday, January, yeah, January 5th, and I am for sure going to the gym after work today. I have a meeting with my trainer, but today's outfit is this like yellow, I've worn this before, but this yellow tunic, this super cute cardigan that I actually got at Bass Pro Shops. The car, or the tunic is from Kohl's, I'm a little snowflake. My earrings are just these gold pineapples, black leggings, and black Converse. I'm bringing black boots for recess because I don't feel like getting my Converse all wet. Hey guys, I made it to work. It is snowing like crazy. That? I don't know if you can. Hold on. Now you for sure can see it. So it's snowy and the roads aren't plowed. So it took me 40 minutes to get here, but I'm here ready to start the day. It is indoor recess right now. So taking a bathroom break. The day's been crazy and it's only 10 15 so wish me luck for the rest of the day i got some clips of the craft we did and carrie storage hey guys i'm home and i'm about to go to the gym it's a two minute drive i have a meeting with my trainer and then i'm going to work out so i haven't been to the gym in three weeks actually maybe more than that because the beginning of December, I lost my job. And I think that was the last time I was at the gym. And then it was finals week and I was so busy. I had so much homework and no time to do anything. And then I got sick and then I got a new job. And it's just been a big adjustment period. And then I was out of town for a week. Like, it's just been a lot. So I am officially going back to the gym today. And I'm going to go to my meeting and yeah so i'm probably not gonna record at the gym because there's always like a million people there and i just don't feel comfortable recording but i will see you later i'm making orange chicken tonight so i have to go grocery shopping after i go to the gym so yeah so this is my cookbook that i love using it's the pioneer woman dinner time cookbook orange chicken it is like so good and i'm so excited to make it again it's one of my favorite dinners good morning everyone today is thursday january 6th and it's still snowing um i don't think it stopped since yesterday which is so fun i hope we have indoor recess again but this is my outfit today. I have this Kohl's sweater on that I got for Christmas last year. And maroon leggings and then my black boots. And then I just have these gold like oval, 
like their detailed earrings from like Francesca's I think and then obviously like my promise ring so that's my outfit today um I did want to show you something that I'm like absolutely loving so on my lanyard I put this thing it is a chapstick holder and it's a lifesaver because my lips get so dry in the winter and where I put my bag at work, whoa, where I put my bag at work, I'm not always by it. So, um, it gets a little tricky to like leave the room and go get like lip balm. So, I now have that holder so that when my lips are super dry and it's really annoying, I can just pop it out of there and I love it. So PSA for everyone, you need one of these on your lanyard. All right, I'm gonna get going to work and I'll see you guys later. Good morning, it is finally Friday. I feel like this week was so long. I am just exhausted, um, but I did it. I got through the week after winter break. I don't think I've ever worked. I've never had a break that long before um, in between like working. So definitely something I needed to get used to. But here's the fit today. Got my rainbow cardigan from Shein, my white tunic tee from Kohl's, black leggings, and my beautiful blue Converse. And then obviously have the matching earrings from Shein. So that's the fit today. Um, I'm gonna go because I have to get gas before work. Hey guys, it's a little bit after work. I had to run some errands, but today started off really, really great. Um, it's Friday and I wore bright colors today and the end of the day was just crazy. I'm happy this week is over. It was one of the longest weeks ever, ever in existence. So I have two weeks left at this school as a special ed aid so we will see what lies ahead um i will see you guys next week thank you so much for watching and stay beautiful bye